the bonus. All hail your new king! Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The main antagonist in Vikings met his fate in the final episode, but how does his death in Vikings compare to the end of the real Ivar the Boneless? Welcome to today's episode. First, we will take a quick look into the TV show Vikings, and then we will compare. Was Ivar the Boneless death historically accurate? The Boneless death, real-life inspiration, and history are examples of how Vikings loosely interprets history. Even though it was originally planned to be a miniseries, it was quickly renewed for a second season. The series has now come to an end after six seasons full of action, drama, and betrayal, especially among families. The final episodes of Vikings brought the stories of Ragnar's sons to an end, but not all of them continue after the events of the series. Vikings changed its main point of narrative focus several times throughout its six-season run, initially following legendary Norse figure Ragnar Lofbrok and his travels and raids alongside his Viking brothers. The series later shifted its focus to Ragnar's sons and their own travels and battles, with special attention on the arcs of Jorn Ironside and Ivar the Boneless. Vikings' final episodes conspire to close the arcs of its main characters, with some reaching their demise in more tragic ways than others. The cruel and seemingly indestructible Ivar ultimately does make it past the Vikings series finale, unlike his brothers Uban and Fitzer. Ivar dies in battle after seeing Vitserk exhausted and injured and struggling to keep fighting. He joins the battle, so Vitserk can stand back and survive, with Vitserk simultaneously pointing out that Ivar's eyes were blue, which meant that he was in great danger of breaking his bones. Ivar the Boneless urges his warriors to keep fighting, reminding anyone close enough to hear him that he and his people were not afraid to die. He then turns around to find a young man with a dagger who stabs Ivar multiple times in the stomach, killing Ivar. Now it's time to answer, was Ivar, the boneless death, historically accurate? Although the team behind Vikings continually aims to be as historically accurate as possible, in most cases, there aren't many historical records about the characters, which leaves ample room for creative interpretation by the showrunners. However, Ivar is one of the few Vikings characters based on a real-life person who was born with weak bones and given the nickname, Boneless. While he is considered one of the greatest Viking leaders with links to Norse mythology, it's not clear how and when Ivar died, with some historians claiming he died in 870 and others in 873. As for his cause of death, it is mostly speculated that a sudden and horrible disease gripped the evil warrior, thus making way for the possibility that Boneless was not about a condition he was born with, but instead a moniker for an unknown disease that struck him later on in his life. The discovery of mass grave in England near the battle site where the great heathen army overthrew the Mursun king Burgred of his kingdom, sparked rumors about it being the resting place of Ivar, as over 250 partial skeletons were found surrounding the body, pointing at the man buried there being of very high status. If this does indeed explain the location of Ivar's body, then he most likely died in battle, just like in Vikings, although it remains unclear if he was disease-stricken at the time of his demise. Ivar's death in Vikings has been met with a lot of criticism from viewers who view his end as a poorly written scene that does not fit the character despite granting poignant closure to Ivar's chaotic yet interesting arc. What do you think? Is that true? Let me know in the comments. For now we know the truth as much as we can. That's everything for today guys, share who would you like to see in the next video or any interesting historical battle or event. Thank you for watching, take care and see ya soon.